Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Hi, I'm Jenny McCafferty and happen to be at the Solheim Cup here in Toledo, Ohio at the Inverness Golf Club. And with us is Steve Forrest, who, when he was with Arthur Hills, spent some time on this course. What can you tell us that's special about this one? Well, this is a Donald Ross gym for sure, uh, Jenny. Uh, we were blessed to have been able to work here really since the early 80s to about 2015 or 2016. So uh, Arthur was a member here. Uh, so frankly, Arthur did a lot of the work here and I just kind of got to go along for the ride. But uh, what a wonderful opportunity and it's, it's neat to see this golf course still being cherished as it has been since the U.S. Open in 1920 through I think 57 and 79 and PGA and now this Solheim Cup event which is just fantastic. So this course is really used to hosting big big tournaments. It absolutely is and you probably heard this story about the uh, grandfather clock that the pros gave to the club. This was the first club to open up the clubhouse facilities to golf professionals back then. I guess up until that time they had just kind of been the the dregs of society and in a lot of club members' minds, but uh, they really appreciated the the uh, tournament here and the professionals uh, gave them a grandfather clock, which is still in there, so. Wow, that's a cool story. I didn't know that about the clock. We'll have to go find it. So there was something about, you did some work on a, a new practice area, is that right? We did the practice, for short game practice facility here back probably in the 90s, I can't remember it exactly. And, and over the years, we. I kind of managed the course gently uh, since it had the uh, Donald Ross name on it. We, we didn't really want to put an Arthur Hills stamp on it. So really following the 79 Open, Arthur consulted here uh, essentially on, on a full-time basis uh, as items came up for review. Some trees removed. The golf course was lengthened to, I think, 7,300 yards. So we did make some adjustments, but uh, nothing here, which is really fantastic. Well, what can you tell us about Andrew Green's work here? Well, uh, he, what I have read and learned is that they went back to a particular period in time, I think it may have been the late 30s or so, and tried to recreate the bunker placements then, or at least the character and feel of it. And I think they've done a wonderful job with the shaping and the look. They did take advantage of some additional property down in the southwest corner, uh, the original holes or the intermediate holes five and six were not particularly well received so they eliminated those and created some new uh, challenges back in that southwest corner of the property. Well it's interesting to see the course and it's also just amazing to see the huge crowds here. Yeah we're really pleased certainly the weather uh, didn't hurt at all what a wonderful week cooler temperatures and uh, we met people from Phoenix here this morning and on the bus. Uh, I'm People have come from all over, really. They said, yeah, we want to make a great weekend of it, and I think they're being treated uh, to a, a fine uh, specialty here. I think a lot of them are following your lead and wearing red, white, and blue. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm trying. I, I might want to turn a little bit more blue here as I look at the scoreboard uh, this afternoon, but uh, we're, we're rooting for the United States team and uh, know that they'll turn it around, particularly on Sunday, which they're famous for. So. That's right. Well, Steve, thank you for talking with us, and we look forward to seeing you out on the course. Very good. Thank you for coming down from Ypsilanti to visit and uh, tour Ohio here with us. Thank you. You're welcome.